morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I got a bunch of admin done this morning. You know, vlogs posted, 3D prints are running, shirt mock-ups, emails, oh, all of that stuff. I got the underside of the bench and the table um, sanded through their finish and the epoxy. I can see that there's a couple of spots that are going to need another tiny amount of epoxy, but still needs to be done, which means it's pour, then cure, then sand, then all that. So those are a work in progress. The cabinet doors and drawer face, I'm hoping to get back to those today. I'd love to get them in clamps, but we shall see. So much to get done. So little time. All right. I'll see you guys later. Wait, wait hold up. Hold your horses. Verse of the day, Song of Solomon 4-7. You are altogether beautiful, my love. There is no flaw in you. All right, see you guys later. Bye. I am mostly done for the day. Got a few things left to do in the office, but I'm wrapping up out here. I got uh, the two little cabinet doors, the drawer face, and the big cabinet door. All done. Ready to go. Tomorrow I'll work on getting the hardware on those, make sure all the fit is nice, get them sanded, stuff like that. The entire base with all those doors and faces and whatnot will all be a distressed black. The top will also be that distressed black. However, the beadboard and the countertop will all be left as natural cherry. Just so you guys have an idea of what you're looking at or you're going to be looking at. Okay, I am done. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello there. Happy Tuesday. We're going to go with that. I got uh, the doors all installed. They are on the nice soft close hinges, which I adore. Uh, get it? You see what I did there? I didn't even plan that. <laughs> I mean, huh, that's good stuff. Um, the drawer box still needs to be built and installed. I just have the face pinned up. Anyway, it's moving right along. So really, as far as assembly goes for the buffet, it's done. I, minus the drawer box. I just have to install the hardware, sand everything, cock it, round over some edges, all that good stuff. Um, so really, I can be switching my gears to the top, which I have most of the parts cut here, sans shelves. So I gotta cut those two. I got a lot of joinery to do on these and I'll get that assembled and whatnot. Who knows when I will get to that. I'll, I'm gonna try today. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, okay? I'm trying. I'm trying! I think that was more for me than for you. Okay, I gotta get out of here. It's time for lunch. See ya. Bye! I just finished up for the day. I was about to record these videos and then I was like, oh, I didn't do the verse of the day. So I had to come in and get that. But um, today I got all of the joinery cut for the top hutch portion, um, including the slots where the shelves will fit in. It took a while to do it just for layout purposes, um, but also because I was using my track saw to do it. It was too, the pieces were too big to use on the table saw with the dado stack, and I preferred the track saw over the router. Just again, setup purposes, accuracy, things like that. Um, anyway, so all that's done. Let's see if I can put a little picture here for you guys. So look at that. You'll see it tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, okay, well, how about the verse of the day? We are in Romans 8, verses 38 and 39. It says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Facts. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everyone. As promised, here is it in the eh, flesh, in the plywood, eh, whatever you want to call it. Um, first things first today, I gotta get the top cut to fit up there. Then I need to get all these parts sanded pre-sanded. Then I can get glue on all of this and get it assembled. 
And then my focus will switch to these shelves, which are going to fit in these dados all along here, as you can see here. Um, and I also have to cut grooves in those shelves to be able to hold up plates so you can display your plates. So that is what I am up to today. We will see how far I get. But guys, I gotta tell you something. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel very much awake. I feel great today. And you know why? This is a little bit of a sales pitch. No, I'm not sponsored. But I recently bought a sunrise alarm. Yes, it sounds gimmicky. I thought so too. Holy crap. Best thing I added to my life. Amazing. Like I used to hit the snooze button 10 times. It was bad. It was real bad. My husband was going insane. I was just like snooze, 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 snooze. And I'm not even waking up. Like it was awful. I would be so groggy in the mornings and just absolutely miserable. Dragging myself out of bed was like a nightmare. Even though I love coming to work, I still couldn't get out of bed. It was getting ridiculous. So someone recommended it to me. I bought it. Holy crap. Game changer. So I now like the, the light ramps up like a half an hour before I actually have to get up. So around five, the light starts to get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until 5.30 when the alarm actually goes off, which is really gentle, which I love. But I don't even have to be there to hear it because I wake up like 15 minutes before that now because the light just naturally wakes me up. I don't feel groggy. I haven't hit the snooze button once. Holy crap, people. I feel great. Can't you tell? I mean, I just feel amazing. Okay, so enough of the sales pitch. Well, Link is in my bio. Click the link in my bio and then there's like a button. It's like the third one down. It says sunrise alarm. Get yourself one. Yes, it's an affiliate link. No, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Yes, they may send me a couple of pennies if you buy it. But dude, if you live in like a northern area where it's dark this time of year, do yourself a favor and get one. Okay, I'm going to take all my energy and get to work. Goodbye. I just finished cutting the slots for the plate grooves, so I thought I'd show you what I did. Um, I used the back side of my track from my track saw, just used some spring clamps to hold it in place. I lined that up. Uh, I put a quarter inch box, core box bit into the router, and then I just used these spring clamps to hold the track down. I used these spring clamps as my stops. They work great for that. Super inexpensive and very handy. Um, and I did two separate grooves here, one for like smaller plates and one for larger plates. You get your angles right where you can layer them, stagger room, whatever you wanna do. But anyway, so I spaced these at, let me see, one and a half and two and a quarter. Now, actually it comes out to two and a quarter and three because I also had to include how much of this is going to sit inside the dado. But anyway, these are a quarter inch wide from the box bit, and then I did a quarter inch deep. And uh, it's pretty fancy. And by fancy, I mean not fancy at all. Speaking of not fancy, here is my plastic dinner plate, which you can see fits in there nicely. It would have the back to lean against. I can actually show you, because I already did the bottom shelf. Let's see if I can do this. Boop, so that's, that's how it'll look. Or you can go for that one, get a steeper angle. Oh yeah, options. Okay, see ya. Finally done for the day. However, my employee is still going. <laughs> um, I got a lot of stuff done today. The entire top portion of the hutch is assembled. I'm at the point with both the buffet and the hutch where everything just needs to be sanded and then it's time for primer and paint. There is a lot of detail work that needs to be done after, but where I'm at, paint needs to start going on. Um, I still need to do the entire countertop out of the cherry for that. I'm making pretty good progress. I actually put the hutch on top of the buffet today to see it all come together and it's pretty exciting to see it coming together like that. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good day. My buddy Jeff at Simon's Custom Woodworks 
he came by and he actually brought over a tool to see if it would work with one of mine and it didn't, but it was kind of cool. He also brought me the Festool catalog. Wishful thinking, that's for sure. Um, but it was nice to be able to just kind of, for lack of a better term, shoot the shit with him for a bit, have a beer, and just talk tools and woodworking and stuff like that. I asked him some questions about my tools and we fixed some of them and things like that. It was, it's really nice to have someone who you can just ask your questions to without worrying about being, you know, made fun of or anything like that. And it's amazing because we met through Instagram and I gotta just say guys, find yourselves a Jeff. Seriously. You need someone local that you can just talk to, or I mean, it doesn't have to be local. You can talk on Zoom and all that jazz, but really just find someone in the community that you can just connect with and talk to and learn from and maybe even teach, whatever. Anyway, find yourself a Jeff. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. First up, I've been waiting a long time to tell you guys this, but I got some LTP squares finally available for you guys. I finally built up enough inventory to sell some. So I've got black, red, blue, green, and I've also got these candy pairs, which are multicolored, no two are alike, and they do cost a little bit more because of that reason. Um, these are when I'm switching over my colors, so you will never get two of the same, and a pair may come in this variety of colors. These are gonna be a little bit more rare, because I don't switch the filament that often. So they do cost a tad bit more. Um, but yeah, you can go click on those. Those are LTP corner squares. Um, and so these are for clamping. So there's two clamping spots. You can use the square or the outer one here. And this is to like align anything that you need a right angle on. There's also blade height markings on these. So you flip it over like this and you can put it above your router bit or your blade or whatever, and you can gauge it that way. If you don't care about that functionality and you really just want it for the clamping purposes, I have another line of these that are flawed. I'm selling them as seconds. So if you click on those, they are sold at a discounted rate. They'll have like flaws in the aesthetics of it. Some of them, they may be a little warped through here so you can't rely on the, the gauge, stuff like that. So go check it out, get yourself a pair while you can. And anyway, oh, let's do the verse of the day. Today we are in Galatians 2.20. It says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. There you go. All right, go out and have yourselves a great day. See you later. Bye. I got all of the cabinet doors and the drawer face completely sanded and ready for primer. Did the same for the top part of the hutch. And I'm still working on the bottom. Um, what I was doing is filling all of the seams with an epoxy putty, which dries rock solid, even though I hate epoxy. Um, I use this Mohawk epoxy putty stick. I have it in walnut. Color doesn't really matter if you're painting, but I tend to work with walnut most of the time. The stuff smells like absolute butthole. I mean, there's no way to describe that other than butthole. Get yourself some and try it and I'd love to hear what you think it smells like. Anyway, I was also working on the walnut table and the walnut bench today. I'm trying to make more progress on that. It's slow. It's slow. Anyway, oh, I got a funny story to tell you guys. And by funny, I mean not funny at all. It's really not. I'm sad about it. Um, I went to the dentist this morning and as soon as I got home, my dog, Mocha, was super excited to see me and it was adorable and she's jumping all over me and I was like, all right, let me get down on your level. So I get down on her level and you know what? She's still jumping all over me and she smashes into me in the mouth and she chips my tooth. I went to the dentist this morning. I come home and get a chipped tooth, like, come on. I swear the dog has impeccable timing, not in a good way. Ah, anyway, now you're all gonna notice it all the time, so you're welcome. What have I done? Ha, okay. I'm gonna go be sad and rest, have some dinner, and shower my stank. So I will see you guys tomorrow.
Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I kind of just got started going today and eh, didn't really feel like stopping. But taking a quick break to switch my gears because this entire buffet is sanded, caulked, nail holes are filled, everything is ready to go for primer. Same with the hutch. The hutch actually is not getting caulked on the inside and you will see why. So next up is I need to start making some more sawdust before I get primer on any of this. I need to start cutting up the cherry that's going to be the countertop for this. So I'll get that cut up and jointed and glued up today. And then while that sets, it's time to clean up in here so I can finagle some stuff around to get these out into the spray booth. So that's what I'm up to today. I'll check in with you guys later. Have a good one. See ya. That's a wrap for this week, people. Got both carcasses primed along with the doors and the drawer face. So everything has one coat. The doors and drawer face have it on one side only. So they need to get the backs done and then a second coat on front and back. These are front and back, first coat done. I also got the countertop all glued up. It looks really nice. Um, there was a little spot, little knot there that I hit with some epoxy because, well, I had it going anyway for the table and the bench. Yet another round of fresh epoxy going on to that table. Yay! I'd like to say that this is the last round, but when I flip it back over, I may have to do some more on the top. I, I hate epoxy, and yet here I am putting it onto yet another project. Ugh, I better not regret that. Anyway, the shelves are not getting primed until they are edge banded, and they aren't getting edge banded until this is painted. Kind of doesn't make sense if you don't know what's happening in here, but I've got an order of operations that is crucial for this particular piece. So you'll see how that unravels. Uh, I gotta bring you guys the verse of the day, so I'll post that after I say goodbye. Goodbye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Working on some apparel today. Got some vinyl cutting, doing some weeding. Got the heat press all warmed up, ready to go. That is a very large stack of apparel orders that I need to get filled. <sighs> Not gonna get in the shop at all today. Just gonna work on this and then I'm gonna have some fun because I worked hard this week. I think I earned it. Meh, maybe. But before I get back to work, how about I read you the verse of the day, which is Ephesians 1.11. It is in Christ we find out who we are and what we are living for. By the way, if you're new to following me, because of Ben's giveaway. Welcome! I hope you stay. You probably won't. It's fine. Uh, for those of you who are newer, the verse of the day, um, the reason I'm reading these is because I was given a jar of 100 Bible verses. We are well over halfway done, so I'm going to keep reading one of these every day until they're gone. A lot of you like it, some of you don't, but thankfully you've been nice about it. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. Have yourselves a good weekend. Bye.